Shalom. Shalom Rastafari. This is Ras Yadinos Tafari, and we want to touch on Sukkot. Last year, we had did a teaching on Sukkot, which is called Boots, or known as Sukkos by some Jews. They will say Sukkos, the T-H as an S sound, but actually it's Sukkot, Sukkot from Sukkah, which means booth, singular, and Sukkot means booth, booths, plural. So it's the Feast of Booths, the Feast of Tabernacles. So we had did a teaching on booths. Now, we have some notes right here, um, mainly that the Feast of Booths, called Tabernacle, is, um, not a, is not a fast. And so we have about... 37 or so pages of um, notes, some details concerning Sukkot. And in the previous um, last year's uh, Sukkot, we actually had, um, let's see if we can bring this up. I think all we have on this drive right here is, um, is the audio is the audio for it um and the audio is about 52 minutes now we're not sure if we were able to put up the entire presentation seeing that we have um you know youtube's basically changed certain things and now they give you more of a um more of a uh uh opportunity to present a an extended presentation but anyway be that as it may, we hope to have some of the audios um, available in their own in their own turn. Now, what we want to deal with right here, based on um, some of the notes that we have um, compiled and what we have um, learned in addition to what we knew before concerning Sukkot is really very interesting and we have gone to uh, Macy's works as well as comparing um, the, the Amharic, the Ethiopic and here's um, where our notes here begin. So we're just sharing some of this. Now this is the Feast of Tabernacles was a water festival. Now I think that's that's very interesting there that Macy has observed that the Feast of Tabernacles was a water festival. But of course, the name for the Feast of Tabernacles is called the Sukkot, or Bamarinya, is known as Yadas Baal. So let's just um, cut and paste this right here into this note. So we're still working on um, some additional teachings and additional writings, some additional matters um, for presentation. So what we're doing right here is just letting one to one see some of the behind the scenes work here on our desktop. But let's begin with this idea right here that uh, that the Feast of Tabernacles was a water festival. And let us refer to some of uh, Macy's Macy's works um, concerning this particular subject subject matter. Now, whether we're able to go through it all in this particular presentation or not, we at least would like to bring some of the basics, um, some of the basics to light on this subject matter. So let us cut this, paste this here, um, okay, we have some of these windows, we were studying this over the past couple of, couple of days, and there's so much in this particular subject matter that we were very, um, cautious about presenting this particular subject matter, because we was not sure that we would be able to do, do justice to the matter of Sukkot. So some of y'all may have already seen the other video on um, Sukkot that we presented, basically the 
very interesting connection with what's going on in this present in this present time. So let's bring up some of some of the the graphics here. Now, as you can see right here, this says um, that that God is our shelter and Yeshua or Jesus, our Black Lord and Savior, is the living water, and that Jesus Yeshua is the light of the world, and that Jesus Yeshua is preparing our permanent home. Some ideas associated with um, Sukkot, or the Feast of Tabernacles, also known as Booths. Now, in this particular graphic right here, you can see that there's a trumpet and what appears to be water, like we say, it's a water festival. Now, the meaning behind the water and the connection with the water, of course, goes back to ancient Gibbet, goes back to um, ancient um, Egypt, and with a particular character in ancient Egypt that's known as Shu, that's known as Shu. Now, there's a lot of graphics that we would like to present to better articulate. Now, this is this is Shu right here. This is the headdress of Shu, and, and it has a feather, a feather, and we have some other pictures. Let's see if we can close up some of this and present it in its turn okay bear with me brothers and sisters because this is a seven day a seven day um feast and and the whole idea of the feast is is the in gathering so we want to present this in a little more of a casual a casual manner like a lecture um these are some graphics of the Tukuls, the Ethiopian Tukuls. Now, this is also an idea of boots too, if you if you notice. Um, that's the idea of boots as well. Now, when we look at the different images of, you could call a booth a hut, and in the African sense, this is a very interesting holy day because it goes back to the beginning. This is also a booth. Too, basically in the same manner that the Israelites lived while they were sojourning, sojourning through the desert after the exodus from Gibbet or after the exodus from Egypt. Now, like we said, it all begins with Shu, with Shu, right? It all begins with Shu and Moshe and Musa and our Lord giver Moses. Now, this graphic here, this is a graphic of Ethiopia, and we call it a Sukkot Misale, or an example, a likeness. As you can see, here is a set of Ethiopians. Um, behind them is basically tents, or you could say temporary dwellings, temporary booths. And this idea of ingathering is very important in the sense of revelation and of the end times and um, prophetic fulfillment, especially concerning us as the once lost but now found Beta Israel. Now, with that being said, let us go to a couple of other graphics as well to demonstrate some of the some of the various different graphics of what a a sukkah a sukkah is now the bible explains that it's made out of what's known in the hebrew as shalach shalach and there are four kinds of of um plants and and tree leaves and bowls which are used and to be used in the construction of the booths for this particular holy day. Now here's the Hamor, the Hamor people of Ethiopia, some of the Sukkah or the, or the Das, and this is known by Marinya as the Das Baal. Now we finally find Shu. Here, here is, uh, here is, well actually it's Seb. Seb is related to Shu within the, the Mishtir or within the, the mysteries. Now, as we said, 
Sukkot is a water festival because it commemorates and the the timing of it is linked with the inundation with the inundation of the Nile. Now, Zechariah chapter 14 is very interesting to read in connection with the Feast of Tabernacles or the Feast of Ingathering, which occurs at the, at the end of the year. Now, when we look at the Hebrew, and this is Hebrew written in the English, so excuse that. In the future, we'll hopefully put in um, both the Hebrew as well as the Egyptian glyphs. Now, this was taken from um, Macy's work, and here he has a, a, a second. The second as the, mesh, the, 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 the Mishkan means to dwell. Like this is where we get the word Shekinah, to dwell or to inhabit. Then um, we have uh, Skint or Sekint, a female friend. Kind of an interesting idea connected with dwelling, almost like a Sait Adari, but not in the pejorative sense. Now we have the Seke or Suko or Seke, which is tabernacles, the Sekut, which is the ark or tabernacle. Then we have Sukut, Sukot Benot, which is used in a particular interesting passage in um, Amos. Not to be confused with uh, Sukkot, but the Sukkot of the Benot. Then a uh, possibly image of Pleiades. Some have wondered, well, what does this prophetic place in where it talks about the, there was a certain star and they carried around their...